Hey guys, welcome back. And in this session, I will talk about the data types in COBOL. So before we deep dive into the classification, let's talk about the term data type. So in layman term, a data type is a classification of data, which tells the compiler how the programmer intend to use the data. Understanding the data types ensure the data is collected and stored in a preferred format and most of the programming language support various types of data including integer, character, string, floating and boolean. We process this data in various ways such as performing mathematical calculation or probably sorting them up in a specific format. This data comes in different form. For example, if you notice employee detail file, which is a sequential file, it is actually having different categories of data. So first column is an employee name and it is actually a string of characters. After that, you have employee age, which is actually an integer. Thereafter, you have department name, which is again a string of characters. After that, you have employee salary, which is again an integer value. After that, you have employee monthly text, which is a floating value. That is something with a fraction part, for example, 10.01. So finally, a majority part of understanding how to design and code programs is centered in understanding the type of data that we want to manipulate and how to manipulate that data in our COBOL program. So in COBOL, there are only three types of data. First one is alphabetic that is made up of upper and lowercase letters. Then you have numeric, which is actually made up of digits that is zero to nine. After that, you have alphanumeric data, which is made up of letters and digits. There are two more additional categories of data type, which is edited numeric and edited alphanumeric. And these two categories is actually an extension of numeric and alphanumeric. So edited numeric is made up of digits and special characters. Apart from that, edited alphanumeric is made up of letters, digits and special characters. And the important point that you should always remember is that edited numeric and edited alphanumeric are generally used for reporting or displaying data on your screens. So for better understanding, what I've done is I've extracted a couple of examples from the employee data file that we have seen in our previous slide. So in this case, the name of an employee that is David Murphy is classified as alphabetic. Similarly, the employee salary that is 2000 euros is classified as alphanumeric. Thereafter, you have age and monthly text. So that is 30 or 10.20 is classified as numeric. In last two example, I've actually reformatted the data in a more readable format. So in first case, I've actually used the salary of an employee with a currency symbol and comma so that it could be more presentable in your report or probably on screen. And similarly, in my last example, that is edited alphanumeric, I've used a date and it is again reformatted with forward slash. So first of all, you have the day and thereafter you have month and thereafter you have year. So this is how you can use these different data types for categorizing data or printing data on the report or probably on the screen. So till now, if you have any question, then do let me know. Otherwise, let's move on to our next lecture.